Look at this place. I know Fairy World is weird, but it's never been this weird. Look at all the flying cows! You're right, Timmy. The flying cows are usually much further south this time of year. Or the rollerblading tournaments. Uh, right. Look, here comes someone. Let's see if he knows what's going on. Uh, excuse me, but... Wrong? Why nothing? Uh, what, what, what could be wrong? <laughs> Nothing's wrong. But I didn't... All right, all right, I admit it. I stole the suit from the playing card bridge. I thought it would be funny. I was young, foolish, a rebel fairy on the edge with something to prove. I'd just been fired from the only job I'd ever been good at. Ooh, were you the town angry guy? I am Quince, King Oberon's and Queen Titania's royal jester, and the funniest fairy in all the land. Ask anybody. Not so far. Uh, I don't know. He's pretty funny looking to me. Quince, do you have any idea what's going on around here? You doubt the fortitude of my funny bone? Hmm, I'll make you a deal. Let me prove to you that I'm the greatest jester in the land, and I'll tell you everything I know. Only if you promise not to hit us. I promise nothing. Deal! Uh, I'm confused. How's this work again? Okay, here we go. If we can help Quince prove he's funny, he'll tell us what we need to know. We can help him by clicking on the right moves at the right time. But you have to wait until just the right moment. When the move hits the basket, it will highlight. Couldn't he just ask us to pull his finger? Ah, I miss the simpler days of comedy. That's brilliant! As soon as my wand starts working again, I'll get right on it. Seize him! King Oberon and Queen Titania! You mean Fairy World really does have a king and queen? I thought Quince was just pulling our legs! No, but he is hiding behind them! They used to be the rulers of Fairy World. Now they're mostly just figureheads. 
Silence! One is not a figurehead. One is the embodiment of class and distinction. Mm, class and distinction. Quite. I have finished ironing my lady's royal girdle. And does his majesty require another coat of spray-on hair? Silence, Chamberlain! The royal jewel of fairy world has gone missing. Our withering Chamberlain informs us that it disappeared right after we fired this sniveling pile of fleece knot. Oh, fleece knot. Hmm, quite. Silence! Chamberlain sees that jester! Who said that? Where am I? What's going on? Oh, look! <laughs> Flying cows! Silence! Consider yourselves fortunate you don't have incompetence like that to deal with. Who said that? Where am I? What's going on? Ooh, look! Figureheads! Silence, you miserable lump of earwig wax! Since you lost us the thief, now you must recover the missing jewel! Or else! Looks like we're gonna need some help on this one! Ah, you don't mean... I'm afraid so! No! Strangle. No! Huh? Does my disturbingly toned physique refresh your puny memory, tiny fairy? Jorgen, we were just on our way to see you. I know. Come with me. We have much to discuss. No! Oh no! Now what? It's Jorgen's defense system. Why is there always a defense system? His TV must be affected just like Timmy's. Each television has two stations. And they'll switch channels. Why do I feel like there's a catch? Some of the TVs are connected to each other, so they always change the TV they're connected to. Get them all switched to the correct station to get the correct channel and tell us what is going on around here. Anything you want to add, Cosmo? Ooh, so many televisions. Never mind.
causing a smile to crack in my already chiseled features. <laughs> Congratulations, Tiny Timmy Turner. You have managed to descramble my defense systems despite your obvious physical deficiencies. Uh, thank you? You are welcome. But there is something about this sinister and quite evil-looking maniacally laughing shadow that I find disturbing, though I cannot quite put my finger on it. Come with me, and I will explain. Ooh, thank goodness, because I kind of tuned out there for a second.